Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and in today's video I have a very exciting brand new launch to share with you all. So today launches the new Kiki London rubber coloured bases. These are very similar to the clear rubber base, however, we have eight new colors. So we have a white, we have six nude shades, and then we have two shimmery, glittery nudes, and I'm so excited to share them all with you. Now, as we go through the video, I'm gonna talk about some of the pros of using a rubber base coat. If you are familiar with the clear rubber base coat, then you will already know a lot of them, but we are also gonna take a close look at the eight new shades, and we are gonna swatch them and I'm going to do a little demo using this one here. Now, the new rubber colored bases, they haven't got colored names. They are all just numbered. So we start off at 01 and we go right through to 08. Now, 01 is actually a white. And one of the great reasons for this white is it's going to really make your bright colors and your neons pop. So if you have any particular colors like one of the neons, this is what I show you guys at the end of the video. The neon green, I found that sometimes it needs two to three coats to get a really pop of that neon color. Popping this new white rubber base coat underneath it, it eliminates needing three coats and it brings the neons to life that little bit more. And it's gonna do the same with some of your other brighter colors as well. One of the other fab things about the white rubber base is it's gonna be great for doing milky nails and opal effect nails and things like that as well. If you think of Snow Glaze in the Easy London, Kiki London Easy Build Up Gel range, it's very similar to that in its color. As for the rest of the colors, I've been going through and just quickly showing you them. We are going to swatch them, so we'll take a lot more of a more of an in-depth look at them then. But as you can see, they are such gorgeous nude tones. Now, these particular rubber base coats, you can use these on their own underneath your colored gel polishes. So you could use them exactly the same as your clear rubber base, but they're going to give you a bit more coverage on the natural nail bed or you can use these on their own as the color they are. So you can pop down two coats of one of these and then you don't need to come in with a gel color on top. You can just come straight in with your top coat. And what that's going to do is it's gonna give your clients a little bit of added extra strength to their nails. So using them on their own with a top coat is basically going to give you a little bit more strength and structure than a regular gel polish mani, but not as much thickness as the builder gels, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like a system that's going to be in between your regular gel polish manicures and your builder gel manicures. So it's a great addition to the Kiki London range in my opinion and the colors are absolutely gorgeous if you're like me you can't go wrong with a classic nude manicure these colors are going to look beautiful with Nala over the top like the water decals and the foils but they are also such beautiful colors that they're going to look great on their own now I want you to quickly run through just in case you're not familiar with the current rubber base coat and let you know some of the pros so the pros are that it has a thicker consistency and I find you can really work it into that natural nail plate and it gives your client that extra layer of strength and protection. It's amazing for any clients who have weak or brittle nails. It's amazing for clients who find that they damage their nails easily or they chip their nails easily and it's also great for any clients who struggle to grow their natural nails because that extra layer of strength really helps grow out the natural nail. So we've quickly had a look at the colors. We've talked about some of the pros. We've got to get down to swatching them. So I'm going to be swatching them on the Kiki London color swatch file. If you don't have this, I will leave a video linked in the description box below showing you the color swatch file because it's an amazing addition to your kit. So the first color we have is 01, which is the white. Now, this is a little bit hard to see on the swatch stick because the swatch stick is white. But further along in the video, I'm going to pop it over a clear swatch stick just so you can see what the transparency and the consistency is like a little bit better because here with the white swatch stick and the lighting it was a little bit hard to see but it's a beautiful soft white it is opaque but you can work thinner with it if you want it a little bit sheer and thicker with it if you want it a little bit more thicker or it would be more preferable to do two coats of it if you wanted a more opaque white on to number two we have a really soft pink 
So number two and number three in the collection, I would say these are more, a little bit more sheer than number four and number five. So that's what's great about this collection because there's something for everyone. If you want a more full on opaque nude, you're gonna get that. But if you want a more softer, sheerer color, there are those as well. A lot of clients don't want a too full on opaque color if they are just looking for a more natural color. So number two and number three in the collection, I would say are a natural pink and then a natural peach. So again, you've got something that suits everyone because you've got the pink tone and the peach tone. Now on the first coats of these two colors, they do look a little bit sheer, but the color does build up once you apply that second color. And again, depending on the look that your client wants, you're, they're really versatile. So you're gonna have something for everyone you could easily just do the one coat and pop a top coat down but if they did want a little bit more coverage you could pop that second coat of color down I think these two colors as well would work brilliantly with the white to create a ombre or baby boomer as well now, as I said, number four and number five are a lot more pigmented. So they are more rich, they're more creamy. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna be seeing any of the natural nail plate through number five and number six, number four and number five, sorry, because they are more highly pigmented and they have more of that creamy consistency to them. These two colors are gonna just cover any imperfections on the natural nail bed. So if you wanted to use them on your own and didn't wanna pop a color over the top, these two colors would be perfect for that as well. This one I really, really loved. This ended up being my favorite color out of the collection. Let me know in the comments below which color is your favorite. So this one, the first one was more of a, I wouldn't say a dusky pink with more purple undertones. And this one has more of the peachy nude undertones to it as well. So again, you've got a pink and a peach. There's something for everyone. I really feel as though Kiki London have really thought about these nude colors when it's come to creating this collection. As you can see, number four, because it's quite pigmented, the color does look a little bit uneven, but that's gonna be rectified when we pop the second coat over the top anyway. So quick recap, I would say two and three are a nice soft pink and peach, and four and five are a more opaque pink and peach. Then we come to number six, and this is kind of a little bit in between the two. I think this is more of a baby pink. It has still got a little bit of a hint of peach to it as well, and I think this one will be brilliant for spring and summer nails. When you just want a classic nude manicure, I would find myself reaching for this color. Then we have seven and eight, and both of these colors are nude, full coverage nudes, but with a hint of shimmer. Doing the first coat of this, it was a little bit hard to hit, pick up the hint of shimmer on camera but you do see it once I've top coated and I bring the swatch sticks to the a bit closer to the camera you can see the ever so hint of sparkles in them so this one is a full coverage peach tone and you've got like little gold specks in it I was trying my hardest to get it to pick up on camera but it just wasn't having it as well and then for number eight, which is the final color, it's more of a pinky nude with, again, that glittery shimmer. It's a really, really fine shimmer to it. So again, it's nice and soft and natural, which works with these nude colors. Now I have to say all of these colors applied absolutely effortlessly because they are rubber base coats. They are, have got that more thicker consistency compared to a regular base coat or compared to a regular gel polish. But even though they have that thicker consistency, they are formulated so well that they apply really, really easily. They smooth on the nail like an absolute dream and they self level beautifully. Now, once you've done that first coat of color, you want to pop these in to cure for 60 seconds and then you're going to come in and do your second coat of color I decided not to do a second coat of the white because you can't really see it over the white swatch stick so we're going to jump straight to number two now the second coat of number two really transformed this color it went from being quite sheer a really soft pink to a lot more opaque so that makes it really really versatile because if you have a client that wants a more softer pink you can just go with the one coat but if you want that more pop of pink applying that second coat of color really really brings the pink to life. I loved that color once I'd added the second coat. 
Number three is a very similar as well. Once you come in and apply that second coat of color, you really get a lot more coverage and opacity showing through. If you was just using this as a regular rubber base coat and popping one of the Kiki London gel polish colors underneath, you wouldn't need to do two coats anyway. But if you was using these on their own, you have that option whether you apply one or two coats. For the first three colors, I'd say you'd only need one coat and you have a nice soft transition transparent sheer look but if you want a more full-on opaque look just add that second coat of color and just keep your coats nice and thin with the fourth color as i said the coverage was a little bit uneven when i applied that first coat of color this one in particular if you were wearing it on your own you would definitely need the two coats of color i applied a little bit too much here so i took some off my brush and just thinned that color out because you don't want to be applying too thick layers you even though it's a thicker consistency product you are still able to apply a nice thin layer of the color so i'm going to go through and add the second coat of color to all of these swatch sticks and hopefully you can really see the colors true to life i do my best when i'm doing swatches to play around with my lighting so the colors look as true to life as possible but if you head on over to the kiki london website as well as their instagram account i will leave both linked below there will be lots of pictures going up on social media today using these i'm sure now these rubber base colors are new and improved from the clear rubber base and their whole benefit and the whole promotion surrounding them is about bringing yourself or your clients stronger longer lasting nails they are going to work wonders on weak and brittle nails when i first discovered the clear rubber base coat myself it was like a game changer it's one of my holy grail products i won't be without it because i personally have quite weak brittle nails and since using that i've seen a huge improvement in them i don't do my nails as often as i should but whenever i do need that extra layer of strength and i know i've been a little bit tough on my nails i know that the rubber base coat comes to the rescue now these rubber base coats should give you around 14 to 21 day wear and if applied correctly you shouldn't get any chipping so when i say if applied correctly you want to make sure that you're getting all your prep on point and you're also wanting to get your application on point so when it comes to application you want to keep your layers nice and thin make sure you're capping your frigate and make sure you're curing in the Kiki London lamp for 60 seconds. Now next week on the Kiki London channel, I'm going to do a set of nails using one of these colors, maybe two. So let me know in the comments below which color you would like to see. And I am also gonna try and do a set on myself. So if you have any questions on prep or application, pop them in the comments below and then I'll be able to answer in that video as well as on your comment because in the video we can go into a little bit more detail. So here we're coming towards the end of applying our second coat of color. As you would have seen, I've kept the second coat fairly thin. One thing I wanted to point out is these rubber bases, because they're rubber bases and they're not gel polish colors, they do have a very tacky inhibition layer. So when you apply that first coat of color, you've got a very tacky layer left on it when it comes out of the lamp. So it works a little bit better if you kind of float that second coat over the top rather than applying it with a lot of pressure with your brush. I'm sure you'll understand what I mean when it comes to applying it. So I've cured that second coat for 60 seconds and look at the gorgeous high shine these already have. We haven't even come to top coat in them and just look at the shine on that color. And there you can see a little bit better the sparkles in the two glitter colors. I am now gonna come in and top coat them. I opted to use the no wipe top coat for today because these are on swatch sticks. For an extra layer of security, for an extra layer of structure and strength, if you were doing this on yourself or a client, you could come in here with the rubber top coat. The rubber top coat works very similar to the rubber base coat when it comes to improving weak and brittle nails. So if you had one of these rubber nude bases and then a rubber top coat over yourself, over the top, sorry, you would have a very strong nail, which would be brilliant if you were trying to grow out your nails or if you wanted to give your nails a little bit of an extra boost or if you have a client who's maybe a nail biter or hard on her nails people like hairdressers who have their hands in a lot of water or chemicals the, the rubber top coat is a lot better for those kind of people because it gives that extra layer of strength 
I just opted to use the no wipe top coat here because it does give off such a brilliant shine when you're just doing swatches. It is still a brilliant top coat. It isn't a necessity to use the no wipe rubber top coat with the rubber bases, but it does give that extra layer of strength. So here we have the eight gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Please do let me know which one is your favorite. I'm finding it really hard to pick a favorite, but I'm swaying between four, five and eight. They are all absolutely beautiful though. They are all on sale as of today and they are at a pre-sale value. So if you grab them straight away, you get a little bit of a discount compared to the full sale price. Now, very quickly, before we get to the end of the video, I wanted to show you guys 01, which is the white. So I'm going to pop one thin coat of this down just to give you guys a rough idea of what the transparency and consistency of the color is like. I know that whenever I use the Kiki London Easy Build Up Gel in Snow Glaze, I always get someone saying to me, is there a Kiki London gel polish in this color? Because not everyone wants to do a full builder gel set of nails. So now we have it in the rubber base coat. This is going to be brilliant for creating milky effect nails, for opal effect nails. I'm really looking forward to playing around and getting a little bit of iridescent nail art in with this. However, one of the great pros to this color, as I said at the start of the video, is it's really going to make your neon nails pop. So if you were doing a client with your regular clear base coat you probably would have to do two to three colors three, two to three coats sorry of the neon green that I'm using as an example here to really get it to pop and really look neon however you could get away with just doing one coat of it here it pops a lot more going over that white base so it just helps you skip out a step if you're going to be using these brighter colors on a client because rather than doing three coats you're going to only have to do one or two because rather than your base being clear your base is going to be white and these bright colors always pop a lot better over a white now here you see I used acid green. Personally, I think I could have got away with only doing one coat of color, but I did the two just to show you guys the difference. You will notice with different neons, some need, some regularly need two or three coats of color. A lot of them do only need two, but just having that white underneath them, if even if you still do two coats of color, it's gonna really help it pop. And we all love the neons in the summer, don't we? And this is what it looked like once I had popped that no wipe top coat over the top as well. It's such a gorgeous color color and it's really made me feel like I can't wait to start doing spring and summer nails. So I have left a few pictures at the end of the video for you guys to check out. Please do check out the description box below as well for any information and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching. Lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.